Odell Beckham Jr. Should he stay or should he go? Hey, what's going on, everybody? Jake Fantasy Headliners talking little Odell Beckham today. All over the news, everybody's talking about it. Are they going to trade him? Is he going to stay? I got people on Twitter telling me I'm crazy for even talking about it. Then I see all the reports coming out on all the major news sites, and it's real. I mean, it's possible. Um, I want to give you my opinion of what I think the New York Giants should do, and then I want to hear about your opinion. I want you to comment below. Tell me what you think. I'd love to listen to your opinion. Like I said, this is just my opinion, my thoughts, what I think the Giants should do, what would be the smartest thing for them to do. So I'm going to get right into it right now. Um, I think the New York Giants need to trade Odell Beckham right now while they can. Uh, to me, he kind of seems like a ticking time bomb. I know everybody saw the videos here the past couple weeks. You know, he's on a bed with a stripper with cocaine, and then he's getting knocked out in a nightclub trying to break up a fight. The dude is too Hollywood for me. Um, and that's a lot of money that he wants. So right now, while I can, while he still has max value before he does something to screw it up, I'm going to sell high. I mean, I don't know if you're going to get much more than for Odell Beckham than, uh, as you can right now. Uh, you could literally almost rebuild your roster, get yourself set up uh, by doing it now. And a lot of people are going to say, why would you trade arguably one of the best wide receivers in football, somebody with that much talent? You don't quit on talent. Well, you're right. But when talent has a problem, talent sometimes quits on itself, and you just get screwed. So for me, before I have the opportunity to get screwed, I'm going to sell Odell Beckham. Now let's talk about the money part of it. Dude wants like 20 mil. That's like quarterback money. So now I got to pay my quarterback quarterback money. And then I got to pay my wide receiver quarterback money. And that's just too much quarterback monies to go around. How can a team rebuild and be successful and put a good product on the field if $40 million is tied up between two positions? That ain't going to happen. Too much money for me. 20 million? No, not unless he plans on playing quarterback, too. All right, so it's pretty much obvious to me. The Giants are going to have to rebuild, and they're going to have to rebuild soon. They may not want to say that publicly, but Eli Manning's career is almost over. Dude's getting old. He's getting slow. Every year, it seems like everybody in New York loves Eli, hates Eli. Loves Eli, hates Eli. So what's the big deal? He's on the back half of his career. He's going to be leaving soon. You're going to need somebody else. And how's Odell going to handle a rebuild? Look at all the drama he brings on a team not rebuilding. Imagine him on a team who is rebuilding and not winning games. Can you just imagine the antics that would go on? Just think of the kicking nets that would get proposed to. And that's just the beginning. All right. He's a diva. We all know he's a diva. A lot of wide receivers are divas, and I'm not knocking him for it. It kind of comes with the position, right? They kind of always want to demand the ball, and they want, you know, the spotlight on them. I get it. But we just talked about them rebuilding, and with Odell's me-first mentality, which I know some of you won't like, but it's true, he's always about himself, uh, that's not going to go over too well. He just doesn't have the personality of, say, a Larry Fitzgerald. Larry Fitzgerald is a true pro's pro. The Cardinals have been rebuilding for like 13 decades. They had like one good year. And Larry Fitzgerald is still there. That is the type of mentality that New York needs in Odell Beckham. Are they going to get that? Not a chance. Like ever. Had Odell is Odell. And Odell going to Odell a lot. What about the compensation for the Giants? Don't the Giants want the future set up? Don't the fans of the Giants want to be set up for the future? You could get a King's Ransom for Odell Beckham right now. You could possibly get two first-round picks. That's something that you could draft a quarterback with at number two, get two first-rounders for Odell, and you could have a bright future in New York. I know it was just a rumor, but you know with the Browns rumoring you know, the number four pick, the number 33 pick, and Corey Coleman for Odell Beckham, 
they would be crazy to not do something like that. That would have them set up for years to come with a new franchise quarterback and playmakers on both sides of the ball. This is what you guys want. Now that trade may have just been a rumor. I don't know. I wasn't in the room and I didn't receive the phone call. But there's rumors flying around. And if there's rumors flying around, something's actually happening. So if something's actually happening, somebody of some importance needs to answer these phone calls and accept it. It's easy. I do it on fantasy football all the time. You just click a button that says accept and it does it for you. It can't be much harder than that. If they're willing to give up that much for one player, sign me up all day long. I'm going to take it. All right. We've all heard about Mr. Gettleman's style there in New York, and his style is the opposite of Odell's. They're going to be button heads all the time. Odell is a me-first type of player. Gettleman is an old-school, hard-nosed, you know, deserves or demands respect type GM, something's going to give. Something's going to give quickly. So before there's a whole lot of drama in the locker room and people getting their feelings hurt, just cut bait. Get what you can. Make both sides happy. Odell's not going to be happy in New York. Send him somewhere else. Send him on his way. Both sides are happy. The fans may not be happy, but you guys will be happy when you actually have a team winning some games here in the next few years. Odell is a great guy, or a great player. But he can't single-handedly take you to the Super Bowl. And they're not even close to the Super Bowl right now. So, I ask you again. Would you rather have a future of winning some games? Or would you rather have the headache of Odell Beckham for the next couple years? So that's the question. That's the debate. That's what we're talking about today. I want to know what you guys think. Make sure you hit me uh, hit me up below, down there in the comment section. Tell me if you think o- Odell Beckham should stay, or should he go? Like I said, I've kind of given you the reason why I would let him go, and I would trade him. But like I said, I want to hear what you guys have to say. Hit me up in the comment section. Make sure you're liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I look forward to hearing from you guys. We'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.